howdy do, peas and poos, hmm, or howdy do's, peas and poos. That might be a better way to say it. So, uh, here on Friday, September the 27th. <sighs> so it's almost 7.30 p.m. Um, it is, it is. Uh, so you know how I said yes after yesterday's video that, uh, if you saw yesterday's video, um, how I would probably crash out pretty hard when I finally did crash out. Uh, I did. <laughs> I, <laughs> I, I managed to get yesterday's video uploaded, and I even got it posted to Facebook, I'm pretty sure. Um, uh, but then at some point, I fell asleep here on the couch, and I did not wake up until my alarm to go to work went off. And it's it, it was it's it's like weird and disorienting because you know at least I can hear the alarm from in here, but it's like it's like so far off in the distance, like because I'm used to it being like right in my face and like wake the fuck up, wake the fuck up, wake the fuck up, but it's like all the way in the other room, and it's like you know I was gonna say a distant lover, but I've fucking hate it, so, maybe it's passion, that hot, red-hot passion, you know, like on soap operas when people hate each other and then they fuck, eventually, you know, just the passion just builds up over time, I guess, I don't know, but at least it woke me up, because <laughs> otherwise, yeah, I, I, I crashed out here on the couch and was done, and it's just like today, um, I was awake for a little bit when I got home. Um, I mean, work last night was uh, stocking. It usually is on a Thursday. Thursday night into Friday morning. And uh, <clears throat> today at Parks and Rec, uh, <laughs> wasn't really no big thing. Uh, the boss wasn't in. Um, and they weren't really sure what to do. I ended up helping... Well, Mallory was waiting to go up to the community center and help s somebody clean out, like, one of their closets or storage rooms. It was more like a storage room when we got there, eventually. Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. Um, <laughs> eventually. Because um, she was supposed to meet the girl at 10 o'clock. Uh, so we went up there at 10 o'clock, but she was not there yet. Uh, so they're like do you want us to have her call you? And Mallory was like, yeah, sure. And then after we left, Mallory was like, I don't know how she's going to call me. She didn't have my number. She's like, I assume she can get it from HR or Gabe, you know, um, you know, <laughs> so we just, we just kind of like, uh, we didn't really know what to do. So we just kind of went around and we inspected the parks and made sure there, you know, wasn't trash. Uh, cause I mean, sometimes you can go to the parks and like the raccoons or homeless people or whoever, um, have, like, you know, thrown trash all about, or maybe the wind, sometimes the wind, I guess, can carry, you know, trash. I don't, I don't know if that's a plane, if you can hear it. A, I think it's a plane. A plane or, like, a hot rod speedster going down the highway. Uh, but yeah, so we just kind of drove around and inspected the parks and... Uh, waited for, um, the girl from the community center to call. I think it, um, uh, Morgan. I think it was Morgan. It was another M name. Um, and eventually she did call Mallory, um, and that's what, she had called Gabe to get Mallory's number, and she was waiting for, she was waiting for Gabe to answer. He was working from home today. Um, so... Uh, but yeah, she was, she was waiting, she was waiting to hear back from Gabe about Mallory's number, um, so then we went over to the community center and, uh, did that, cleaned out, cleaned out, the, helped them clean out the closet. Basically, we were just, we were standing there waiting for them to, because they had, like, these tall, um, uh, the dude was, uh, the one guy was up on the up on the tall ladder at one point, up on the very tippity top of, um, you know, the, the shelving that had been built in there. Um, 
and they were just like going through things and throwing things out. <laughs> we were just there waiting to carry stuff out to the truck and throw it in the back. Um, and then, uh, which the, she, uh, I was like, is this stuff trash or what? And she's like, yeah. She's like, unless y'all want any of it, go for it, you know. Um, of course, it was probably an old... Uh, unfortunately, I just learned... Um, I don't know if our movie theater is closed for now. People were still saying that they just went to see a movie yesterday or whatever. But I saw in the local group that um, our AMC has been sold to... I, it's a more local um, thing. It's a and b theaters or whatever. Uh, I think they have one of them in Sedalia. I think it's where Gail and Angela go a lot. Um is the one in Sedalia, and I th I'm pretty sure that's a and b theater down there. Because um, I, I was thinking about going to see Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice again this weekend, and I'm like, I don't know. It would be nice to once again to just th throw on my pants and give up for the weekend. <laughs> you know? Um, but then I saw in the local group that, like... Um, because somebody was like, is, is the theater closed for good, or is it remodeling? Apparently they're remodeling. I, I don't I don't know if our theater is open or not. Um, I don't know. Because that's what it's like. Well, if I don't go see a movie this weekend, am I going to be able to, you know? Because apparently the sale goes through uh, at the end of October. So I don't know if our theater is closed until the end of October. Or if maybe certain parts of it are being remodeled, but they're open showing movies in certain theaters, because, you know, it's it's split in between two, like, theaters, one through six is over here, and I don't know, I don't actually know how many screens they have, but, like, seven through whatever is over here, so maybe they're remodeling one side at a time, but they're still showing movies on the other side? I don't know, um, but it's like, I didn't want to walk all the way out there and then find out I couldn't fucking, I mean, I, I was gonna, thinking about calling the theater, if you can, sometimes you get this 1-800 number that's like, you know, a basic number for the whole thing, you know, for the whole company. Like, instead of calling my local AMC, I would be calling AMC in general, and they're like, where are you from? What city is this? So instead of talking to my local theater and getting the answer that I need in, f like, five seconds, they're like, please hold for the next available call, blah, 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 blah. and then you have to wait, and then it's like who the fuck are you, and where the fuck are you from, and, like, we have so many AMCs, dude, what do you want from us? You know, we don't have the answer, so instead of just getting to talk directly to the people who would know the fucking answer, <sighs> maybe that's a little, <laughs> that's a little bit of a soapbox for me. I just, I hate that shit. Like, Mazios used to be that way. Instead of being able to call my local Mazios and ask a fucking question, you had to call the 1-800 number, that was the only number available, and I'm like, I don't want to talk to Mazios, I want to talk to Mazios in Warrensburg, Missouri. That's where I, that's like, that's who I'm trying to talk to. For fuck's sake. Because of course, you know, Mazios didn't have a fucking clue what's going on. I think I was trying to find out if they were open or something or, or still having their buffet. I can't, I, I don't know. And they're like, I think eventually they connected me to after this long fucking drawn out process that didn't have to fucking happen, I think eventually they they called the local Mazios and then got back with me and was like, here's your answer. All these unnecessary fucking steps to get one fucking answer that I could have gotten in five fucking seconds. <clears throat> all that to say, within all of the stuff that they were throwing away at the community center, was one of the the annual popcorn buckets. Uh, and the AMs, I mean, I assume all AMCs do, but they have that annual popcorn bucket that you can buy for like twenty bucks or something, twenty twenty to thirty bucks, and then you can fill it up each time you go back to the movies for like five bucks or something. Um, but I I don't even it was it, it was probably an old bucket. It was probably from last year, maybe, because the Angry Birds were on it. The Angry Birds had a movie a, a year or two, or eight ago. I don't really know. It's all a blur to me. But, um, you know. Okay, Google. 
What year was the Angry Birds movie? 2016? That can't be right. They must have had one since then. That was a long time ago. I'm pretty sure it was the Angry Birds that were on it. I don't know. So maybe that's been sitting up in that storage room for a while. I don't know. In the middle of all these other buckets that they had that they were throwing away. <laughs> but maybe that was a collector's item. Maybe I should have snagged that, you know, before we threw it in the dumpster. Um, but we also had that problem that once we finally got the stuff, um, Mallory realized she didn't have keys because they're pretty, they, they think Peter might have accidentally taken the keys home with him for the weekend. Um, I, I, I think, uh, Riley might have found the keys eventually or a, a different set of keys or something. But yeah, Peter is apparently like, he's out of state for the weekend. So that's what Mallory was telling me. He's like, we're pretty sure he took the keys home with them accidentally. So I couldn't do couldn't do the trash route because they didn't have keys. But I think Riley found another set or something, or he found the keys. They were just way back in the the back of the the key box or something. Um, but yeah, we uh, didn't have keys uh, because up at Cave Hollow Park, there's you know a blockade thing that's chained and padlocked and Mallory didn't have a key to the padlock so um, she called Riley and he was saying that there might be one in the key box so she dug through the key box and <laughs> couldn't find one so um, Riley had to meet us out there at Cave Hollow to unlock the thing for us to take the truck up and you know throw all this stuff in the dumpster once we got there so <sighs> so much so much the the drama for today, but I mean that was the that was the biggest drama. <laughs> that was, you know, fun stuff, fun stuff. But whilst I'm awake, um, you know, I have these little um, coffee drinks in the um, in the um, fridge. Yes. So, uh, I, I mainly bought them because the, the cans are badass. It's, uh, Bones Coffee Company. I don't really drink coffee, but these little coffee drinks maybe sounded interesting. And I thought since it's my weekend and I want to try to stay awake for a while, um, you know, I guess I didn't finish what I was saying originally. Because that's what, that's what happened again as I got home from Parks and Rec. And uh, I was I was awake for a little bit. I was dicking around on the internet for a bit. Uh, I watched some You Laugh, You Lose challenges, a couple of those maybe. And then I crashed out on the couch for a while. So, But now that I'm awake and it's 7.30, uh, I thought I would try one of these little... I, I did drink one of my, one of my uh, pop, pops from Pops. Um, said that there. I tried the uh, Palisades Peaches and Cream which is neat. Uh, it tasted peachy. It was good. I have my piece of piece of cheese, piece of chis, my piece of chis, uh, sitting on a top, a top that, um, while I wait to finish that. Because then I went to make this video while I was awake, and then I thought, well, why don't I drink um, one of these coffee drinks? And I found one in there that expired in May. The reason I bought it was it had a raccoon on, on the can. So, but I was like, I didn't drink that one. But these bones, they have really cool... <clears throat> and there's one of the cans that I'm missing. Uh, I've, I've seen it online, but I don't have it. We had like three of the four, or four of the five, I don't remember. But this one is Fruity Cereal. Um, so as you can see, he's very... You know, riding a unicorn lightning uh, Fruity Cereal... Uh, fruity cereal drink. So I thought, this doesn't expire until um, January of next year. So this one is still good. Um, so I figured I might, oh, should I have shaken? I don't drink coffee drinks. I don't know. Should I have shaken this before I opened it? Maybe it's not going to taste as good as it should, but, and of course it's going to taste a little cheesy because I, I have my cheese, but
I think I mostly just taste coffee. Maybe a little bit of fruity cereal in there. Not fruity pebbles, because that's copyrighted, but fruity cereal, for sure. I mean, I guess it, it doesn't have to be fruity pebbles. It could be like, you know, Fruit Loops or Tricks or something. Um, I guess there's a there's a, a hint, a tint. It's a little taste test video for you today. Um, there's a little tint, a little hint of fruity cerealness in there, but mostly, of course, for me, um, I don't drink coffee. So like sometimes mom will have me taste her coffee drinks, or she'll she'll get like the little uh, little coffee um, candies or something like chocolate chocolate covered espresso beans or something or or some kind of. Is it mocha? Is that what is like a, a coffee thing? Um, and mostly all I taste out of it is coffee anyway. But it's a little bit of I maybe I should have maybe I should have shaken it. Shake well before opening. Does it say that somewhere? Probably. Shake gently and serve chilled over ice. So I'm doing it wrong. That's so the problem. The problem is me. Hi. Hello. It's me. I'm the problem. It's me. What the fuck else is new? But anyway. <clears throat> so, I should have shaken it, apparently, before I opened it, but oh well. I can't shake it now, because it's open. So, since I can't, we might as well answer today's question, shall we? From Lebic. From Lebic. Who is your hero? I can be your hero, baby. I can, Heidi and I like to make fun of that song. Uh, I can be. I said, so I can be your hero, sandwich. That's more so what we do. Uh, <clears throat> I don't actually even know what goes on a hero sandwich, but. Um. So. Here's another one of these questions <laughs> that uh, we already know I'm not passionate about anything. Um, <clears throat> maybe I'm just not wired like other human. I, I've heard that term, and maybe you know, uh, maybe I haven't fully understood it until I went to answer these questions and realized how different I am than other people. I don't know, like I don't, I don't get. I don't get passionate. What were some of those other first questions from the beginning of the year? I think before Gail was answering these questions, um, <clears throat> there were some of these that I ran into that was like, what are you passionate about? And I'm like, I don't get passionate about anything. Or what are you obsessed with? Or like the other day asking me, you know, what, what, uh, <clears throat> what celebrity I'm currently obsessed with. Um, which part of the re I mean, uh, maybe I came up with an answer for that, because part of the reason I'm watching Agatha all along is because Aubrey Plaza is part of it. And I, I, maybe you want to go back and check out Parks and Rec, because, you know, her and Chris Pratt were, like, together, like this comedic duo on the show that I missed out on. But, <clears throat> so, I mean, maybe Aubrey Plaza. I mean, I, but there again, I don't want to say I'm obsessed, but I enjoy her work, so I'll watch things that, you know, she's in. Maybe not just because she's in them, but, you know, she's an added bonus, I guess, <clears throat> for something that I was thinking about checking out anyway. You know, maybe she tipped the scales on whether or not I would watch it, I don't know, um, or check it out at the very least. But, like, so I don't, I don't get obsessed, I don't get passionate, I don't, I don't have hopes, I don't have dreams, you know, um, and I don't have a hero, really, that I've ever, that I could, I've ever thought of, you know? <clears throat> <clears throat> I can be my own hero in my own story, I guess. I don't know. Like... I just don't have an answer to this question, because <clears throat> no one's ever been my hero, I guess. Um, 
I mean, I guess I could say, you know, my mom is kind of one because, you know, she was a single mom and <clears throat> took care of us, you know, when we were little, the best she could and whatnot. So, uh, I guess if you're watching this, mom, it, you know, there you go. Um, <clears throat> <clears throat> dang it. I've got a lot of allergy drainage today. Um, Well, at least when I woke up, uh, <laughs> here at like, you know, 7 o'clock at night. Uh, <clears throat> so, of course, I was clearing my throat like last night, too. And earlier today. <laughs> so, <clears throat> um, yeah, I just don't, I, I don't know. I don't, excuse me. It's coffee burps now. Um, <laughs> maybe a little peach burps, coffee burps. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I've, I don't, I just, I don't really think of anyone that way, I guess. Um, and maybe Captain America. Because he's America's ass. You know, that's important. That's an important thing to stand for. Uh, you gotta stand so I can see that American's ass. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Yeah, I, don't, it's, I just don't... Um, I actually saw... <laughs> I think I shared that meme that was like... That it was like a Lego... Um, a Lego thing uh, the, where they put together Captain America and they put <laughs> they put like two extra uh, little circular Lego pieces on his ass so that you know of course it's America's ass uh, let me see if I yeah there it is this is the meme right here and then they put the they put the two extra thing on him so that he has a fat ass because America <laughs> Uh, I miss the way the Avengers movies used to be. Of course, you know, there's no Avengers movies <clears throat> now for a while, maybe. And is there, there's supposed to be like a fourth one. Of course, we were supposed to get Kang. And that got all fucked up, which is unfortunate, but... <clears throat> he did a good job in Ant-Man, Quantumania. Uh, I thought so. He seemed to be very good in that role and it's very unfortunate that he's not going to get to continue in it but for something I thought was supposed to be a non-issue but apparently he found get he got found guilty <clears throat> domestic abuse or something <clears throat> or assault or something I don't know but even though I, his well I guess it was his lawyer so his lawyer is paid to be on his side but it's like, oh, we have witnesses that say it didn't happen, or, you know, or there, there was extenuating circumstances. I don't know. But, whatever. We're losing Kang, so <clears throat> doesn't matter anymore. Which, <laughs> which leads Marvel to be even more fucked up with the MCU, but whatever. I suppose that's... Uh, it's talking about heroes. It's not completely off-topic. Off, off topic. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, I just, I don't know, I just don't, I've never put people on a pedestal, <clears throat> I guess, above other people, because it's like, I mean, maybe Mother Teresa, I guess, you know, she was a, uh, you know, out and out decent human being, but I mean, I guess everybody has, like, their flaws and their, like, you know, <clears throat> they have maybe moments that they're not very heroic, you know, um, I guess that's just not very realistic, you know, it's kind of, I, I mean, I don't know, I mean, I don't know <laughs> what my mentality was as a, you know, a teenager or a child, whatever, because it's just like, you know, even like, you know, because it was asking me what my dream job was that one time. And I'm like, I don't really have a dream job. I don't really, I don't have anything that I've ever wanted. It's like, oh my God, I have to do that because I'm not passionate about anything. You know what I mean? Like it all leads back to the same 
same place. Um, but like, uh, I totally forgot what the fuck I was going to say now. <laughs> yeah, I don't have a fucking clue. So that's gone. Because uh, <clears throat> I know I was talking about putting, you know, putting people on a pedestal or whatever. Um, I mean, you know, maybe, maybe through, you know, but not really. I mean, like I said, my mom was always there and took care of us and whatever, you know, so it's like not really, like my dad, you know, my dad never being there. And it's like, oh, you know, people, you know, don't, uh, you know, people will let you down, whatever, maybe, maybe, <laughs> maybe that's what I've, I've just, I don't really hate people, but at the same time, it's like, I don't need to be around them all the time either, you know, <laughs> as I've gotten older, I guess, it's like, you know, I'm just gonna sit in my house by myself with my cat and vibe and like, not be around people much, <laughs> that takes energy, you know. So I, I don't know, I've, I've never really like lorded anyone over everyone else. I just, I don't know, I've just, I've never done that either. Where it's like, you know, this is the epitome of humanhood or whatever. This is what everyone should strive to be, whatever. Um, I don't know, I've just never thought of people that way. I don't know. So, I guess my answer is I don't have a hero either. <laughs> I just don't, I don't know. <clears throat> I mean, you know, that could be defined differently for different people, you know. Um... But I'm, I'm sure, you know, Mother Teresa could probably have those days. I mean, maybe behind the scenes. Maybe she was keeping her thoughts to herself. But, you know, there was cunt in there somewhere. I'm sure. You know, maybe she just didn't let it show. Maybe that's, maybe that's the definition of a hero. It's like, you know, you do the right thing and you're decent to people. You know, no matter what you might think in your head. You know. So... She would have been a good retail worker, I guess. Chose a different path. Thanks, Jesus. But it's kind of maybe it's kind of like uh, in waiting when there's that one character. Actually, she she was uh, she turned out to be Josie from Beekman's World. I I later came to find out. I'm like, oh, holy shit. But she, she was that one that would, like, in the back room, she'd be like, fuck these stupid ass bitches, whatever, blah, blah, blah. And then as soon as she walked out the door, she'd have that, like, <laughs> that customer service voice. She's like, hi, how's it going? How are you doing today? Is everything okay? You know, I think I made her a little bit Janice from the Muppets, maybe, there toward the end. But, like, <laughs> there's that scene where she's, like, walking out of the back room, out of the kitchen, just, like, shouting about something, blah, blah, blah. And as soon as she walks through the door, it's like the, f the switch flips. And she's just, like, the best customer service representative ever. You know. <clears throat> so maybe like that. Maybe, like, you know, keeping your, th you know, keeping your thoughts to yourself. <laughs> sort of thing. <laughs> when you, in, the, in the face of adversity. <laughs> or you're just trying to serve people at Applebee's. So maybe every, maybe the staff at Applebee's. <laughs> Is my hero. Maybe after all. Who knows? I don't know. But. I mean, I, I guess I could also say, you know, the doctors that saved my life a uh, month or so ago, whenever that was. Um, you know. So. Uh, good on them. Thanks a lot. Appreciate it. Um. You know, um, I mean, I guess, you know, uh, 
the military. I do, you know, uh, support support the support the troops kind of thing. You know, I'm glad there's people, you know, braver than me that are, you know, protecting me from uh, maybe not alien invasion, but <laughs> you know, uh, people who, you know, though sometimes I think people get into that like just to get their college paid for, and it's like, <laughs> you know. But, I mean, they would go out and fight and protect should there ever be a need. Should, I mean, people were talking about World War Three for the longest fucking time. I did, I, maybe I slept through it. I don't know. That's very possible. But uh, I, don't, I, I don't remember World War Three, even though people were sure it was going to fucking happen. Oh, my God. Once again, we're back to people, and <laughs> oh, I'm just gonna stay in my apartment with my cat and vibe. Like it's fine. I'm gonna just sit here and enjoy my own company, and uh, do that. Uh, so I mean, I, guess, I maybe guess if I think about it a little bit harder, maybe there are a couple, a couple of good or good or better best answers um, that I could say. That I mean, may, maybe certain people that I put on a pedestal above. You know, like first responders and all that sort of thing. You know, people who go out and serve and protect and whatnot, all that. Um, you know. So I, I, maybe maybe there's an answer. You know, at the end of the day. You know. So. All pale in comparison. To America's ass. Just saying. That's the way it goes. But anyway, so now that uh, this video is way unnecessarily long, what else is fucking new? Let's be honest about that. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and get this uploaded. Um, and hopefully I don't have to... Hopefully I didn't... It's, it's only one of my little SD cards that if I talk for too long it splits the it splits the file in two for some reason. I don't know if that's a glitch in the in the in the card or or what. But um, anyway, that's unimportant. And adding time on to time you've already spent with me. A lot of these videos are so fucking long. But I guess that's because I'm conversational before I get to biz down to business business. This is this is this um, er day er day er day. But at least tomorrow, my my recap or being conversational will be like, I fell asleep again, <laughs> and I slept, and now I'm answering the question at um, probably almost midnight. I'll probably do that again. Who knows? <sighs> but anyway, that's enough about that, and uh, I'm going to drink my fruity cereal drink that I should have mixed up. Of course, if I serve it over ice... That would mix it up, wouldn't it? But anyway, I'm going to let you go. Uh, thanks for spending so much time with me. Since I don't know how to shut the fuck up. And I will see you for what I see you.